Hi everybody, Bunny Berry here, 100 Day Raw Food Challenge, Day 29. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Mother's Day. I know I did. I went to my mom's house. Um, it was kind of a special day because my mom is building a new house with her new husband. So this was our last holiday in the house that I grew up in. So that was really a nice day. I took a big salad and made two salad dressings, the grapefruit dressing that I talked about last week. And then I made Beth's um, kick-ass rosemary salad dressing, which is right now on um, bunnyberry.blogspot.com. So if you want to check that recipe out, it is so good. Every time I make that dressing, it just Everybody comments on how wonderful um, that salad is. And it's really good if you put some pear or apple or something sweet in with the rosemary dressing. It just, oh, just the savory and the sweet. And, mm, 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 mwah, mwah. Um, and then I also, this weekend, went to the library because, you know, cookbooks are really expensive. Well, any book is really expensive. And so a lot of times I'll go to the library and check books out and make sure I'm really going to use the cookbook or use the recipes in the book or like the recipes in the book before I actually buy it. So I checked out Annie's Raw Kitchen, and I love this book. Um, although, as I'm looking through it, I'm starting to realize that a lot of the recipes in here um, are not things that I would necessarily eat every day. There are a lot of nuts, and um, a, 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 most of the recipes call for, you know, a lot of dates and nuts. And since I'm trying to lose weight, I'm going to um, get the book and use it as a special occasion and every couple of days kind of recipes. Um, I really want to check out her scrambles, though. I'm going to make the scrambles that are in this book as a new little breakfast treat. But I did make the donut holes that are in this cookbook um, over the weekend, and oh my gosh, they're so good. So check out Annie's Rock Kitchen. Um, I wrote a little bit about the book and what I liked about it on bunnyberry.blogspot.com, so you can check that out. And I put a link to Amazon, so if you feel like picking up the book from Amazon, they have a pretty good price on it. So anyway, um, I've been thinking now that I'm approaching my 30th day, I have been thinking about trying this new thing. Um, you've probably heard about it. It's, it's kind of a popular trend in the health and wellness arena. I've been thinking about doing this thing called um, exercise. I know. <laughs> you've heard of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've heard of it, but I've actually never participated in it. That's not true. I used to be um, in great shape and I used to do a lot of exercise when I lived in Atlanta and I did yoga and I've you know been a runner and I've done all kinds of weightlifting and I used to be in fantastic shape and I'll have to post some pictures on my blog to show you what great shape I used to be in. Um, maybe that'll motivate me. Um, so I've been thinking about putting some exercise into my routine since I'm feeling so great from the raw food and really getting benefits from the nutrition, um, I've been thinking about adding some walking to my lifestyle. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I'm going to start out really slow just doing some walking because, you know, in the shape that I'm in, if I tried to run as Dolly Parton said, I would, honey, I would black both of my eyes. So I'm going to be walking walking at a nice pace. Um, I've actually been thinking about getting a, um, uh, an MP3 workout that is geared towards power walking. Um, I saw some that Kathy Smith had done and on one site they had some on sale for $5.95. So I may pick up one of those and tune into my iPod and get out there and get my heart rate pumping and see if um, I can take this to the next level. The reason that's so exciting for me, and maybe you guys don't know this about me, but I actually, right before I started this challenge, had an MRI done on my lower lumbar region. And I do have a severe herniated disc in my back. And I have been basically unable to do any kind of exercise walking. But 
since I've started eating raw food, my back pain, dare I say it, because I know as soon as I do, I'll be flat on my back, but my back pain is gone. I have a herniated disc in my back, and my back pain is gone. So I'm going to try. I'm going to start out just doing a little bit of walking, maybe like starting out 20 minutes and coming back and seeing how I feel. And then if that feels okay, starting to add a little more time to that. So 30 days, and I'm already feeling like um, I want to start exercising. So I'll let you guys know how that's going as we journey along and tune in tomorrow because tomorrow is day 30 and I will be doing a weigh-in. So until then, eat your veggies.